got a bunch of maple logs from a tree that we've trimmed. Uh, they've been sitting on the ground for about a week, which helps. That's about the right amount of time you want a fresh log to sit. Then we're going to get these. The sawdust spawn we ordered. This is uh, oyster mushrooms and uh, lion's mane, which are good for the brain. We're going to inoculate all these logs uh, by packing these holes that we drill roughly six to eight inches apart up and down the log. Pack the holes with the sawdust spawn. I'm going to try using this little uh, syringe by cutting the end off and then putting my sawdust in there and packing it into these holes. Uh, so we'll see, then we'll wait. The oysters should come within a season or so. Sometimes the lion's mane take longer to work its way through the log and fruit, but it'll be worth it in the long run. All right, so I got the little syringe. This is just from a children's like Tylenol. You pack your uh, Sada spawn, this is for the oyster mushrooms, in there. And the holes we've drilled roughly an inch deep, so then I'll just stick this in one of those holes, like so, and pack it in there. There you go, nice and packed. And that's it, we'll just put a bunch of holes in this log. Put a bunch of holes in the log and pack them all. All right, so now we're just pouring a little beeswax over the top of the holes to keep the seal them in there. Seal them in there, keep it moist in there. I'm still fond of helping me out, pumping these. Perfect. There you go. That's a quick, easy way to melt some wax in there, as you can see. There we go, going around all the logs. Boom. Push that one in. Nice. All right, so we've inoculated a bunch of logs all around this tree uh, and all these on the ground. <clears throat> and here we go, finishing off that log. And then this is another way you can do it where you basically cut like you would firewood, lay down a layer of the uh, sawdust, then we'll set this one on top and do the same again, make like a three, three tall stack. And that's called a totem method, but we'll do that too. So that's what a totem looks like with the three layers. And we'll actually put a plastic bag over the top of that to hold some moisture in. And they'll eventually meld together into one solid piece. And for today, that's good. We'll inoculate this log tomorrow. And there you go. So these totems, the last uh, step is just to cover it for a season or so with the tarp to help hold in the moisture. Or I guess a plastic bag. But uh, I'll, I'll probably pull this off in the springtime or so. Once it's all shaded in back here anyway. And that'll just help hold moisture in there. So there you go. And what I'll do is, all we do is wait for a year or so. <laughs> so I have a, a lot of mushroom spawn left. And a lot of logs left. And uh, so I'm trying out a new technique here. Where... I haven't seen it done before, but I imagine it should work. We'll find out in a year or so. But what I'm doing is just cutting some long slits with the chainsaw down the log and then packing those with uh, the spawn. And then I'll 
pour a streamer of wax down the whole thing to try to seal it and and it does go quicker than than individually drilling the holes and we'll see how effective it is should be all right uh so that's what i'm doing now Stuffing the mushrooms in? Yep. He's stuffing them into the crack, just like so. Perfect. I'll put a little more on top here. Stuff that in there too. Very good. Yep. There we go. Got all these logs inoculated. Got the totem method, the sawdust plug method, and then this chainsaw method I'm trying out. So, see if we get any mushrooms. I'm sure we will. <laughs> 